But as this, we believe that shared values are the foundation of true partnership. This week, Washington released the 2011 Human Rights Report for Armenia. These reports on every country of the world were mandated by Congress to help guide U.S. lawmakers' decisions on foreign assistance. The reports now provide governments, international organizations, scholars, journalists, and activists reliable information on human rights conditions around the world. Here in Armenia, the report addresses a range of issues. It, contain, it contains some good news. For example, the government relaxed restrictions on freedom of assembly. It released the remaining detainees from the 2008 post-election protests. And the new election law added some new tools to deter election fraud. Our report highlights some shortcomings as well. Demonstrators from outside Yerevan at times were impeded from traveling to protest, to protest rallies. The media, in particular television, showed a pro-government bias. The government decriminalized libel but established high civil fines that encouraged self-censorship. And the courts remained subject to political pressure from the executive branch and judges operated in a culture that expected the courts to find the accused guilty. We view the report as more of a tool than a report card. It informs our conversations with civil society, with government and others, about where to focus reform efforts. With elections approaching, we are focused on the fundamental right of citizens to select their government and the conditions necessary for free and fair polls. We've been encouraged by some of what we've seen, but we also recognize the challenges ahead. We hope that our report proves useful in setting some benchmarks, noting where things need to improve, and offering credit where credit is due. We welcome your feedback. You can find the link to our report on the U.S. Embassy Yerevan Facebook page. Again, we believe shared values are the foundation of true partnership. Thank you very much. Antanur Arjak Nera, Irakan Gorzan Gurutsian Himknen.